Yeah, I'd like to get that okay. one first, though. Be one of the first ones up. Yeah, because the crates are Whew. easier to move than the box. All right, guys. So it's time for either a value vinyl thrifting or a uh, you know regular uh, value vinyl video. What is thrifting? Well, thrifting <laughs> is going to a store that sells used items or has items that have been previously owned. And they were selling them. A lot of times people donate things for charity and you can buy them at a cheap lower rate. It's almost like a, you know, donatable flea market of sorts uh, kind of a thing. So what you guys are going to get today technically is a thrift store find because these come from a store where they were donated and uh, they're being sold secondhand. Um, but... Like other videos I've had in the past, guess who just got another big mountain of free FRWE records? Yes, this kid right here. And when I say mountain, I mean, um, uh, there's five, six, I don't know, crates. And uh, I have no clue what's in them, but I have been told some of the names and albums that are of artists that are in there. And I know every single one of you in the VC are going to be interested in seeing what is in here. Because there are some killers in here. Um, these came from Vintiques of Maine, the, from where, I, where my big mountain came from. Eric over there did the same thing. And what he did was is he went to estate sales and all that stuff, grabbed things that he needed and wanted that he knew he could immediately take money off of. But this amount was not worth his time going through individually pricing. And so I'm going to have a lot of great stuff in here, and this is going to be awesome. Um, but I'm going to split this up. I'm going to do one box per video to keep it short and sweet for you so you can watch them at your leisure and be able to keep track of where you're at. But it's also going to be very informal because I'm not doing any editing on these. I'm excited to see what they are, and i got a lot of work to do to get them put away. So I'm when I get done with them, I put them in here. you got work to do. We, yeah, well, we've both got work to do. So. Hey, I got a good joke for you guys. Okay. If joke you time. men out there ever want a break from the hard labor in the house, just go and break your hip. Yeah. And your wife does everything for you. Tell you guys, there's a lot of crappy stuff that happens with having a broken hip, but there are some sweet perks to it. <laughs> yes, woman, these heavy crates of records, they go over here. Move them around for me. I'm hurt. I can't do it. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, they're downstairs in the vehicle, and you have to go up 50 stairs to the house. They're about 200 pounds each box. Hurry up. It's going to rain. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting up here watching YouTube videos. I'm like, ooh, Todd in the Shadows has a new video. <laughs> uh, yeah, put them over there, woman. I got to do a video later. I'm such a dick. All right. So... The first one that we're going to get out of the way, um, this box here is going to be the only one in here that's technically a surprise box. That's why I'm going to start off the video with it. Why? Eric said, this box was dumped off at the store. He already had all these other crates. And the guy, he gave the guy, the guy's like, what will you give me for these? He's like, I don't want them. I've got enough records that I can't go through. I don't want them. And the guy's like, I don't want them either. Here, just take them. And he just left the box there. And Eric said, you know what, I haven't even opened them because I didn't pay for them and I knew I was going to give them to you. You get first dibs. This has not been picked through. It could all still be garbage, but we don't know because he don't know. So this might be exciting. Um, the other ones, he gave me some heads ups on some really good records. So, you guys ready? We're four minutes in, about time to see. I have no clue what we're going to look at. The Best of the Letterman, Volume 2. All right, that's not bad. Oh, that's cute. And on the back, somebody drew glasses on the guys. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, it's one of these kind of deals. Look at that. Cool. Next up. All right, some more Linda Ronstadt. You can never go wrong with that. I do not have this one. Awesome. It's so easy it was on that one, if I remember right. Next up. Love is the thing, Nat King Cole. Ooh, look at this one. Yes. 
Is this on the purple capital? No, it's still a rainbow, so it's probably a reissue. Awesome, though. Next up, more Nat King Cool. Unforgettable. No, 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 no. Ooh, gold capital label. That one's in really good shape. Unless I drop it to the corner on the table and bend it. I'm an idiot. What the hell's wrong with me? Guy Lombardo and the Royal Canadians, Dance in the Moonlight. Yeah, this is some uh, <clears throat> Valley Vinyl type thrift store stuff. But guess what? Free! Paul Murriat in the shrink. You guys know who he is? Because um, it says on the back that he's dependable and so is his music. He can always be held responsible for creating a certain musical mood. A mood that he should has pointed as the Murriat magic. Um, I'm not familiar with this artist from Phillips. It's in real good shape. It's like new, guys. Hey, I got a duplicate. Turn back the hands of time. I do have this. It is a two-record set. It is on the flim cardboard. I'm going to find which one's a good one. If anybody else wants a copy, let me know. Take a look on the back. It is some old stuff. We're talking like Eddie Fisher, Ames Brothers, Neil Sedaka, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Paul Anka. So if you want some good oldies, uh, the one I have is in real good shape, and if this one's in real good shape, too, which it looks like, um, somebody's going to get a really nice record set of oldies. Only problem is, just like mine, it's a Dynaflex. <laughs> but hey, you know what? Free. Next up, Sentimental Journey. It looks like it's the same kind of thin mail order type cardboard. No track listings. Hey, it's my third copy of Domica Nica Nica Da 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 Da. Yeah, the singing nun. Another copy. <laughs> I got one already. But you guys have played it in our videos. I love that song. You know I do. All right, next up. Love theme from Romeo and Juliet. Still in the shrink. It's an old Camden, 1969. Seriously, guys, how many records do you guys get from 1969? Still on the shrink. Look at that old blue Camden. Nice. Petula Clark. Downtown. Yeah. That's a good one. And Golden Hits. Longy Symphony presents. What's on here? I hear music. That's Amore. Oh, yeah. When the moon hits your eye legs, a big pizza pie. Shut up, Steven. All right. Hey, you're right. Um, another thin, looks like mail order type deal. The greatest of Eddie Arnold. Telehouse Incorporated presents. Oh, these are a lot as I've seen on TV stuff. I'm going to be freaking out, man. I love that stuff. Let's dance to the hits of the 50s. Ooh, what is on here? Tennessee Waltz, Unchained Melody. Okay, cool. Around the World Ladies. Valare. Valare. Mac the Knife. There we go. Sing along with Connie Francis. Oh, that's actually in really good shape. And there's advertisements for Brill Cream on the back. Because, you know, I should do that. Just to be, like, retro, like one of those hipsters. Like, yeah, you want hipster? I'm going to go back to the 50s and slip my hair back with some Brill Cream. That's awesome. Sing along with Connie Francis. Oh, looks like these go together. Volume 1 and Volume 2 of Those Memory Years. Wow. Yeah. More oldies. Oh, the greatest of Jerry Vale. And this is also a, as seen on TV. Look at you can order more. And it's a two record set. Woohoo. Andy Williams. Look at that. Look at those pretty teeth, man. This is a commercial for Colgate. Hi, my name's Andy Williams. And I used Colgate toothpaste. Look at my teeth for his chomp, chomp, chomp. Yeah, another thin two record in here. SC on TV from CSP. Wow. Hey, El Martino, Spanish eyes. Oh, man. I am getting a mail horde of oldies. Gospel's top 20 all time favorites. This also looks like a very thin, yep, CSP release again. 
hoo hoo, a tribute to the one and only Glenn Miller. Look at that. Spinorama! Cool. That was actually going to be my channel name before I came up with Value Vinyl. I was actually going to go Spinorama. And I think I found another channel named that, so I never did. So if you guys want to, subscribe to Spinorama! I don't think they have anything to do with records, actually. I think it's a bunch of old women that talk about stuff. Spinsters. And they do... I can hear a Henry Ray! You know. People are full of it. Guys! I got something for my collection. Candlelight Music presents... What? The Velvet Memories of Jim Reeves. Two record set, RCA non dynaflex Look at the condition, guys. I'm going to get the, sh the glare. Look at that reflection. That's almost perfect. Oh, there's maybe a little bit of dust. But dang! Nice, beautiful, as seen on TV offer. And this might count as my yellow for my uh, rainbow. My Jim Reeves rainbow. I'm going to complete it. You don't believe it. Suffolk Marketing presents more Guy Lombardo. Yes, here we go. 25 Polka Greats. You better have some Frankie on here. Oh, you know what? This is a different pressing of the same one I had before from KTEL. But mine, remember, Nikki, we had that 25 Polka Greats record I had, and it was good, and all of a sudden we noticed yeah. that it got chewed up, and we couldn't figure out how and why? Yeah. This is another pressing of it. It's got six fat Dutchmen on it, Frankie Yankovic, wow. uh, Mylon Florin, all that stuff. Because awesome. the reason why is on here... One of the songs that got chewed up was song two on track one. The, I don't want her, you can have her, she's too fat for me. Much too fat for me. Hey, yeah, the too fat polka. And now I got another copy of it. Different cover, different pressing, same record. And it's an old school K-Tail, kids. That makes me super happy. That's worth this whole thing. Worth the price I paid. Yeah. <laughs> If I melted all this down into plumbing to fix the leak in the bathroom sink, it would be worth the price I paid for it. But that ain't going to happen. Let's have a polka party! Over 100, 100 big band polka hits! From Jimmy Stern and his orchestra. Oh yeah, that's a multi-record set in there. Who won? Two, three. I think when I just do a video, I'm going to do a live stream of every single song on this record on here. And, uh... I'm going to try to hack Steve Carlson's uh, uh, his YouTube, so no matter what video he tries to watch, it's going to be the live stream of this um, until his brain explodes. And then when his brain explodes, I'm going to talk to his wife about saying that he wouldn't be able to listen to his records anymore and uh, have all his records Damn come to my house. Rain. I think that's a diabolical plan. I think uh, use a noodle there. Poker party! <clears throat> Eddie Dutch and favorites... I've got another one of his we got recently. I still don't know who this guy is. Oh, this is a tank record. Here we go, guys. Tank tank test. Yeah, that's pretty thick. About 180, 200 gram. New recorded high fidelity record. Hey, look at it. it was, it's, there are songs of his played by Milton Stanley. I don't know who he is either. Next up, theme songs of the big band era. Longy Cincinnati again. They usually have pretty good pressings. Uh, if you guys care about that style of music and that kind of genre, those Longy Cincinnati sound really good. Great vocalist of Big Band Air. I do have this one, but mine has a lot worse shape than this. This is definitely an upgrade. I'm a happy boy. Yes, and there's some more Nat King on there. Look at that. Bobby Vinton, please love me forever. Don't get so desperate, dude. You're a pop star. You don't... You don't have to beg. Just like, you're rich. You can pay for love. <laughs> you don't have to have people like you. You can pay them to pretend to like you. <laughs> if I got rich, that's what I would do. If you're like, you're all assholes. I kiss my butt. Be my slave. And they're like, yes, sir. We're happy. You give us money. That's the life. That is the American dream. I'm still pursuing it. But there we go. Bobby Fenton. Pat. Biggest hits. Yeah, Pat Boone, Pat's greatest hits. Uh, I'm working on my Pat Boone collection, and I do not have this one. And for the Pat Boone rainbow, I've got yellow, green, and blue. Counts, right? There is no Pat Boone rainbow. I just made that up because I'm bored. No. Bobby Denton, still in the shrink. Sale price $4.99, brand new. 
on the ABC radio. There you go. Oh, look at this studded jacket. Remember when that was cool? Why can't we have that make a comeback? That's awesome. See that, Nick? Uh, look at that. Studded jean jacket. Awesome. Billy Vaughn and his orchestra with more. Are those all like, is that like the same chick? There's some... <laughs> Yeah, is are those boobs? Oh wait, hold on. Oh, those are arms. My gosh, where is my brain? I'm thinking of like naked twins, and I'm like, I was getting really excited about ready to pause this and go, um, never mind. There we go, Billy Vaughn more. More Billy Vaughn, but this one's not more. More was that one. This one's more, but it's not that more because that's the one more that's called more, not this more. This one's still more. Right? Right. La Paloma, Billy Vaughn again. Wow, we got a lot of Billy Vaughn goes Latin, it says on the back. Bueno. Another main, as seen on TV, flimsy release, America's Singing Sweethearts. Nelson Eddy and Jeanette McDonald. I don't know this one. This might be good. RCA non-flexi disc. That makes me happy. Because a lot of times you see the flexi discs on those. Logi Symphony presents Million Dollar Sellers. What songs sold a million dollars worth of songs? Would you like to know? Shaboom by the Crew Cuts. Yeah, I remember that one. Uh, I, I don't know that one. I don't know that one. How much is that doggy in the window? Are you crapping me? Look at, look at, look at. Doggy in the window, Patty Page. So what's next, you know? Freaking, how much is the, wait, wait, Mary had a little lamb coming in? A million dollar seller, Mary had a little lamb. Billy Vaughn, Blue Hawaii. The Holly Ridge Strings, don't know that one, plays instrumental versions of hits made by The Four Seasons. Ooh, so their orchestral string covers of Dawn Go Away, Sherry, Big Girls Don't Cry, Ragdoll, oh yeah, dude, yeah, I'm gonna like this one, Ronnie Dove with Cry, I actually have Ronnie Dove, um, Cry, single, on 45, now I got the full LP with it on there, got a beautiful diamond record label, and I'm looking, every single one I'm pulling out are in great shape, these are not roached records, Fontana and his orchestra, dance party. Hi, I'd like you to buy me something expensive. And then when you stop buying me things, I'm going to find another man who can do it too. And then I'm going to keep going on and on thinking that I love him. Of course we know that. That's that's what she looks like. Tales Records, nice. Sorry, does this sound like I'm a little bitter? I am. I'm lucky that I have a beautiful wife, though. Who doesn't? I make it for you guys who have wives who are like that and that you put up with. Country style, another as seen on TV. Probably, ooh, this one is another RCA Diner Flex here. Whoopie rippy. All right, two record set. Dottie West, Skeeter Davis. There we go. Just did a thing on her. Chet Adkins. Oh, and there's Jim Reeves. Four Walls is on here. Hey, see, artists I don't care about normally, but now that I've done the deep dives and the quickies, I'm like, hey, I like that artist now. I'm glad to get a copy of those songs, which is the whole point of this vinyl discovery of why I'm doing this. Troy Corey, the closest I ever came um, to being loved. So it doesn't say that here, but on the back it's like, uh, that's not the full title. There's parentheses things. See? All right. Don't know this guy, but it looks like he's getting some poon tonight. Lucky man. Of course, he paid them to love him. I'm trying to bring the joke around. It's it's a comedic thing where you bring back every now and then just to... I'm not a stand-up comedian. I'm not a comedian at all, but I'm trying, okay? Hey, Troy Corey. Um, wait a second. This looks like a guy... That's the CEO of a company that you think is a douchebag and that, like, you every time you see him at work, all you want to do is punch him in the face. And then this is guy getting laid because he's this ladies' man. What the hell happened to you, Troy? What the hell happened to you? 
Poor guy. <sighs> That's a sad story. I might do a deep dive just to find out what the hell happened to him. Greatest hits of the war years. Ooh, what do we got on here? Spike Jones, Der Fuhrer's Face. Uh -huh. Harry James and his orchestra. So they got some comedy things in here, but some serious ones. Tommy Dorsey. Yeah. There we go, guys. We're talking, you know, 30s and, you know, old wartime stuff. Stuff that you probably would never find, uh, you know, not on, you know, shellac. On vinyl. Not bad. Two records worth. I like that. I do have this one already, The Great Groups. So I got another copy of this one, another multi-record Donna Flexi set. Ooh, still in the shrink. Soundtrack music from the movie Dr. Zhivago. Um, offering this up for you guys because I do have this already, and it's in really good shape. Do I care that it's in the shrink? Not necessarily. That means squiddly squat to me, but the record, let's take a look. I'm going to do the... I'm going to give this the Valley Vinyl Seat of Approval. This is There's one scuff there, but it is... Yeah, that surface. So if anybody out there wants Dr. Shivago, it's up for grabs. Oh, speaking of which, which one's this one? This is different. Original soundtrack album, Dr. Shivago, Gatefold. And then this is... Not a gatefold. Okay, wait. Recorded in widescreen fidelity. Please tell me you guys are reading that. Because how do you make widescreen? You see, but that's something you... This is totally confusing me. I'm going to assume that this is a repressing on a gatefold. Because it both says original soundtrack album. And this one also says soundtrack music from um i don't know enough time on that moving on radu constantine this thing is super thin it's not Ooh, ooh, look at this it's my first romanian pressing this is a romanian record kids <gasps> the wonderful pan flute pan pipe it's like zam fears oh my gosh Romanian Gypsy Zomphir! See? This... This is awesome. Sweet! I can't wait. I'm going to spin that right away. Why not? Alright, what's next? Come out of the box here. Suave Quebecois. Uh-oh, this looks French. Look, I see Quebec. I see some pie. I see a bunch of French words. Let's take a look here. Yeah, it is in French on the back, too. Uh, here's a gatefold on the inside. And, oh, that's a cool label. Promo Sun. That's weird. All right. I'll, hey, Tony, want to make fun of my French? Obviously, you know French so well. You're a multilingual guy. I already right, know that. You already know more than one language. If you know French because you made fun of me, the hell's just saying, what is it? What's it about? Oh, that's in English. Wait, no. Chansons uh, Respondre. Hey, I know that means call and response, sing along with. And Set Calais. Oh, but see, there's two super uh, microcillions. How much is a microcillion? I know it's 100 minutes. Got that. Homework. To all the girls of love before. Still in the shrink. Julio Iglesias. Yeah, baby. Oh, oh, and look at that. That is still in the... Yeah, this is a like new. Like new Julio. Tommy Dorsey. Favorites. Got a, getting a lot of Tommy Dorsey because here's some more. Oh, screw Tommy. We're doing them all. We're doing the fabulous Dorseys. Wow, and this one is old, and look at the shine on that still. Look at how white the white is on the back. Ugh. Our Mercury. Ah, Buddy Murrow and his orchestra plays Dorsey hits, so it's not Dorsey. All right. Henry Mancini. In the shrink still, also. And this is a Living Strings for my Living Strings collection. 
Yes! Yeah, I've got about five or six. I've been doing all the, not Living Strings, all, just by itself, the Living series. You know, Living Mariachi, Living Strings, Living Castanetas, uh, whatever. i got quite a few of those. The Last Years of Our Lives. Multi-record set. Looks like a thin made-for-TV deal. We got what do we got on here? Some Bing Crosby, some Andrews Sisters. Oh, we're talking old timey. Ella Fitzgerald. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Duke Ellington. All right. Twenty-two favorite waltzes with the moms and dads. Multi-record set in there. Cool. Another as seen on TV thing from Brookville Records. Autumn leaves. Billy Vaughn plays Million Sellers again. Well, let's see what Million Sellers we got around here. We've got uh, In the Mood. Uh, that's the only one I can own. It's a lot of crap. No, nope, I'm not buying it. Show me the documentation. Golden Waltzes, Waltzes by Billy Vaughn again. Gene Lewis, Solitary Man. Look at that. All right, everyone in the comments, who does he look like? He looks like somebody. I'm going to let you guys guess. It's like, I know that guy. But it's Gene Lewis from Village Records. Wow, that is a small pressing, too. I think that might be a ripped paper that I just ripped putting it back in. That's okay. Putting it in a new inner sleeve anyway. All right. Gonna... Million Seller Series. Volume 1 and 2, again, horse hipucky on what they really are. Uh, Mule Train by Tennessee Early Ford. Really? Mule Train had a million sellers? Yeah. T for 2, Cha Cha. Yeah. I'm not saying they sold a million copies, but maybe they did. I'm not a genius. Ah, uh, well, thanks to Mr. Bell at the Final Verse, I already got a sweet in shrink copy, but I got an extra of. L hurts, honey in the horn. That's all right. But my copies, my primo. Thank you, Bill. Cool. But I don't have this one. L hurt cotton candy. Yes, I got more L hurt. Yes, yes. Ooh, double up. Bam. <coughs> Sugar lips, L hurt. Yeah, he's the king. I'm a happy boy. Can't hurt to have some hurt, right? And before you guys say it, Sack, I know you just got done saying earlier, I hope to see some Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> Last record in the box, you got your wish, buddy. Engelbert's 20 Greatest Hits. And it is a rare, as seen on TV, multi-disc set. Look at all these records in here. Wow. There you go, Sack. Your favorite artist of all time. I know I could send you as many Engelbert Humperdings as you have, and you only have so much room in your record collection. And I know you've thrown out some, you know, Nazareth just to keep the Engelbert Humperdink. And uh, don't do that. Um, get me your Nazareth, and I will trade you even up for the Humperdink. Fair deal? All right, cool. All right. That was the first box. This is the first video. Hope you guys are up late. If not, that's why I'm doing it in segments. We're going to go through them all. And uh, that was the first part. Thanks for sticking around. If you watched it, you're a king. Um, down in the comments, say, I am the best YouTuber ever in the comments. And uh, I will make sure to give you proper credit for that uh, to show that you've actually watched this video. Take care, guys. Um, on to number two.